you ready? Okay, what a wonderful morning to have everyone here at North Charleston Elementary School. I'm Melissa Brubaker, I'm the principal here. We are so excited to have you all here on this special occasion. We were fortunate to have Vision in the Learn vision to learn in our building last year and watch some of our students receive glasses for the first time and it was truly emotional to see the reaction and hear the reaction from our students in the building. So we are very excited about this day. On behalf of our student staff and district, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Governor McMaster and his staff who are here with us today, along with members of our legislative delegation, our superintendent of schools, district leadership, and county and constituent district board members in attendance. Additionally, I'd like to welcome Vision to Learn and their incredible staff, who have, been brought, who have brought this wonderful program to our school, along with representatives from Boeing, MUSC, Charleston County Medical Society, and other amazing community partners, who are all here today to support our children and this program for the state. We have an exciting morning ahead of us as we bear witness to the signing of a legislation by our governor in a short bit, as well as get to see some of our students receiving glasses for the very first time. Thank you all for joining us today. It is an honor and a pleasure to have you here with us at North Charleston Elementary. Now I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Mr. Donald R. Kennedy, Sr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Uh, Brubaker, and uh, thank you very much, Ms. Brubaker, for all you do for the children here at North Charleston Elementary School. And I also would say uh, it was an honor and a pleasure to uh, worship with you and your family two Sundays ago at uh, Royal Baptist uh, Church here in uh, North, uh, North uh, Charleston. Uh, and also, um, it's a pleasure to welcome you, uh, Governor uh, McMaster, as the uh, leader of the, the state of South Carolina uh, to Charleston County School District. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, uh, our Chair, Reverend Eric Mack, uh, I want to say thank you for what you're doing in signing this uh, bill today. Uh, for our children here, not only in the state of, uh, in um, Charleston County, but across the state of South Carolina. Uh, some of you all have heard me speak about, about CCSD's vision 2027 of all children reading on grade level by grade five, and certainly the, the ability to be able to see uh, supports that, uh, that vision. And to that end, uh, Vision to Learn has helped over 2,000 of our students here, here in Charleston to get screening, to get glasses, and to be able to see. Uh, this morning, when I was thinking about my remarks, I was reflecting on my uh, time as an um, elementary school student at Gordon Elementary School up in Winsboro. And uh, I was thinking that uh, in my whole time in Gordon Elementary, I never saw one single student uh, with eyeglasses. And in fact, I was well into my high school uh, career before I had my first screening and got my first pair of glasses. And I said, wow, now I can see what I'm trying to study. And so here in Charleston with the vision to learn, uh, t trying to support this vision, our students now that are having struggles of being able to read will be able to read because of my, much better because they're able to see. Um, for many of our students here in Charleston, this program is being, being able to see and for to vision to learn. I really uh, appreciate that uh, uh, that effort. And I also want to recognize uh, our director of nursing, Ms. Uh, Ellen Nitz, who coordinates all of this for the for Charleston County School School District. So thank you very much. And so thank you, Governor Mike Master and the legislature for passing the bill enabling Vision to Learn to continue to help children throughout the state. And thank you for marking this occasion here in Charleston. And so next, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Damian Carroll, the National uh, Director of Vision to Learn. Well, thank you, Superintendent Kennedy and Principal Brubaker, Governor McMaster, uh, Representative Cogswell and Penderis. Uh, my name is Damian Carroll. I am the National Director of Vision to Learn. We are so excited to be here today. You know, a little over 10 years ago, a philanthropist named Austin Butner created our organization to address a problem that is pre prevalent all over the country. Students who go to school without the glasses that they need to be able to see the board or read a book or otherwise uh, communicate in class. And our program has found that the best way to solve this problem is by bringing access to students right here at school on campus. Uh, many of you walking in probably saw our mobile vision clinic parked outside. 
that clinic has been visiting schools throughout Charleston County as part of a one-year pilot established uh, by the legislature last year. We have, to date, provided eye exams to over 2,000 students, provided glasses to over 1,700 students at 17 schools across the district. Uh, thank you. And we are just getting started, thanks to the legislation that Governor McMaster will be signing today. Um, the support that we have seen from the community in helping to establish this program has been just extraordinary. I'd like to thank a couple of people uh, that made today possible, uh, starting with uh, Henry Blackford. Uh, Henry is a local philanthropist and civic leader who found out about our program through a program that he saw about Vision to Learn on PBS. And Cold called our organization several years ago to say, this is a program that would really benefit students right here in Charleston. We said, let's work together to make it happen. We didn't know quite how long it was going to take, uh, but Henry has been our inspiration throughout uh, this process. And uh, regretfully, he's unable to be here today because he is celebrating his 50th wedding anniversary with his wife, Sherry. So not many reasons that he would miss today's event, but uh, that's a pretty, pretty darn good one. So thanks to Henry. Uh, Caroline Delaney, uh, our advocate uh, in Columbia, has made this program uh, on the forefront of a legislature's mind and really shown what an impact that we can have and brought us to this day. Um, I want to thank several of the Vision to Learn staff, Joan Chu, Robert Hernandez, who is here with us today. He's our program manager. Our optician, Joe Venzi, uh, Jamie Venzi, our other optician, and Dr. Catherine Kirby, our extraordinary optometrist, who is uh, here in the back of the room, and her parents are with her today. So welcome, Dr. Catherine. We're so proud. I also want to thank a number of, of wonderful partners and funders, MUSC Health, Dr. Andrew Eisman and Dr. Mark Schuer, uh, our, our fantastic uh, supporters at Boeing. I see our folks in the back of the room. John Rivers Jr., the Duke Endowment, uh, the Motley Rice Law Firm, the St. Francis Physicians Endowment, Ingevity, and many others. Too many to list today and many more to come. Um, Thank you, everybody, and my final words are to our students today. Look around the room at all the adults who have helped you to be able to get these glasses at school. And the final step is up to you. All of this wonderful effort won't make a difference unless you put on your glasses, take care of your glasses, and wear them at school. And if you do, it is going to help you learn so much faster and go so much farther in life. Uh, I am pleased now to introduce our champion in the legislature, State Representative William Coxwell. Thank you. Thank you, Damian. And Governor, welcome back to the Low Country. We're glad you're here. Today marks a celebration. Thousands of children in Charleston County can or soon will be able to brightly see into their futures thanks to this incredible program, Vision to Learn. Our young students experienced unprecedented hardships during the recent pandemic, and now going forward, having access to quality eye care and prescription glasses will not be one more thing that they or their parents have to worry about. Through this program, we are providing fund a fundamental tool for our children that will allow them to succeed not only in the classroom, but in their homes and communities as well. Damien stole a little bit of my fire, but I am here mainly to give a very special thanks to Henry Blackford, whose passion and fortitude really has made today possible. Again, Henry cannot un unfortunately be here today because he's in Quebec, his wife, Sherry, loves to speak French, and they didn't want to go abroad. So we'll give him a pass. But two years ago, he approached me as his legislator after hitting a roadblock that would keep Vision to Learn from becoming a reality. I was immediately sold. I mean, it's hard not to be putting glasses on kids, right? Um, but Henry's drive and commitment, candidly, was quite infectious. Specifically, we needed to get a modification to the Optometrist Practice Act that would allow mobile clinics to visit 
Title I schools. I won't go into the details, but after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, uh, working with SCOPA, the professional optometrist organization, other legislators like Representative P Pendarvis and many others, Caroline Delaney, who was herding cats uh, up in Columbia, as well, of course, as many support from you all here in the audience today, we are here to sign Bill 4837 into law. I'm proud to have worked with Henry, our leaders in the community and the State House, to ensure this program was allowed to move forward and succeed. Our government is a community of individuals, and these individuals realized that this was an obvious need that we could fill. I can say personally, and without ex exaggeration, that this bill is one of, if not the most important and impactful pieces of legislation that I have been involved with during my time in the legislature. And I want to again thank Henry for bringing such an incredible opportunity to South Carolina. It is my sincere hope that within a few years, Vision to Learn will be up and running, not just in the Tri-County, but in all 46 counties in the state of South Carolina. Now, I have the privilege of introducing another Henry, a man who needs no introduction, but really whose leadership, commitment, and vision, pun intended, helped get this bill across the finish line, Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the work that y'all have done to bring us to this point. Appreciate you inviting me here today. Every time I go on a stage like this, which is not very often, it <clears throat> takes me back to happy days at Satchel Ford School when I was the lead character in a play called Little Henry in the Land of the Slowpokes. That was a long time ago. And then I think back in, I, I think I was in law school when I happened to put on somebody else's glasses and realized what I'd been missing. I think my eyes were fine as a youngster, but somewhere with all that reading, start wearing out a little bit. But to put on, put on glasses and all of a sudden it's just a, it's a whole new world that you didn't even realize you were missing is, is quite something. So I just have two points. One is how important our children are. They are the future. And looking at, at this group, I can, we can see ahead 20 or 30 or 40 years a lot of us not going to be sitting here, and these youngsters will be where we are. And they are our future. Uh, there was a state uh, senator, Glenn Reese, y'all may, may remember, William. Years ago, we were, you know, I was lieutenant governor presiding over the Senate, and we all traditionally have school children and other people come in to be celebrated for various things and recognized. And uh, Glenn, we had a, a group, I think it was third graders, and they were all up in the, in the balcony there. And Glenn Reese looked up at him and, and said that uh, he'd been a school teacher for many years, and he said, if, if, I, if I'd only thought all those children would grow up to be adults, I would have tried harder to teach them <laughs> something. Well, they are all going to grow up, and they're our future. And if we don't give them a good education, then our potential, their potential and ours will never be reached. So this is enormously important. I was at Paris Island not long ago uh, speaking to the general there, uh, Julie Northercott, Northercott, I think her name was. She was a, um, a brigadier or major general moving to another assignment as they do in the military. And we were discussing pa uh, Paris Island and the things going on there. And she said that she believes in the art of the small. That is, one small thing here, a small thing there that may not seem too big in the scope of things can change everything over time. I don't think this is a small thing that we're doing here today for these children. I think it's a big thing. And it's something that ought to be done in a lot of other places. Uh, the second part of this is that uh, as Damien mentioned, all of the, the people that are involved in this, now, I don't know Mr. Blackford, but he certainly has my respect for taking this step, but all the entities uh, that are listed here in the briefing that I have that were recited a moment ago just indicate that this is the things that we don't have to depend on government to do. What William Cogswell did was get an obstacle out of the way, and that let the 
private community, the citizens get together and do what we're doing today. So the answer is not always government. Uh, the government can do a few things well and can mess up a lot of things if we're not careful, we get over ambitious. But this is a perfect example of the private entities, groups, people, the citizens of South Carolina uh, in their various capacities joining together to make a very, very good thing happen for the people of our state. So I congratulate all of you and these, uh, these happy children. Look at them, they're getting anxious. There are about two of them looking at me, the rest of them looking at something else. <laughs> but I understand that completely and I look forward very much to seeing, uh, seeing the glasses being given when we get outside. So thank you for inviting me and congratulations to all.